Do you ever see designs that you love the font on and you want to use in your own designs? Chances are, like most designers, this is all too common of a thought. The problem is you probably don't know what the font is and it can take you hours looking through font libraries. What if I were to tell you there were a few simple ways that you can use to identify almost any font to use in your own designs? Stick around to find out how. What's up designers, welcome back to Digifrog Designs. If you're new here, I'm Matt Roberts, brand identity designer and illustrator. If you're like me, I'm always screenshotting and taking photos of fonts that I like the look of on designs when I'm out and about or browsing online. It used to take me hours of hunting to try and identify the font I was looking for, but not anymore. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you a few easy ways that you can use to identify the font from any image fast. Before we get started, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We post new videos every Wednesday, helping you become a better designer. If you can't wait until next Wednesday, why not join the new Facebook community to join in on the discussions? I'll drop a link to it in the description box below. So let's take a look at a couple of ways that you can use to identify the font from an image. Everything we're going to be looking at today is available on desktop and mobile app, so you have the option of even finding fonts on artwork even while you're out and about. I'm going to start by showing you a couple of methods on desktop and then we'll move over to the apps. There'll be a link to everything that we're going to be talking about today in the description box below. The first way we're going to look at is What the Font. What the Font is a service by MyFonts that allows you to upload an image containing the font you want to identify and then it shows you the closest matches. So to identify a font, it's pretty easy. You can either drag your image into the browser or use your file browser to locate it. Once you've added your image, it will try and identify areas of text in the image and then highlight them with dashed boxes surrounding them. Underneath the image, you'll see options to rotate the image or the ability to manually select the area of text you want to use. Depending on how much text there is on your image, there may be a few words selected. So once you're happy with the selection, just click on the selection you want to use and then hit the blue button at the bottom to analyze the font. It's at this point is where the magic happens. When the results load, you'll be presented with a list of the best matches for the font identified in your image. The nice thing about this is it doesn't just give you one option, it gives you a whole host of other options too that are visually similar, which might actually lead to you finding something that's more suitable for what you actually need. Sometimes the results are not 100% matched depending on the font used and if there's been any type treatments to it, but it can get you pretty close in the ballpark. The handy thing with this one is it lists off places where you can go and purchase licenses for the fonts if you want to license them to use in your own work. Next, let's move on to using Adobe fonts. This is one that's really handy if you're an Adobe user and have the fonts included in your plan. And I'll show you why in a moment, but first off, I'll show you how to identify a font from an image. Once you're on the Adobe Fonts website, at the end of the search bar, you'll notice there's a little camera icon, and it's this icon that allows you to upload an image and search for similar fonts. Once you've selected your file, it'll scan the image to try and identify the fonts that's in the image. It starts off by allowing you to highlight the area of text you want to analyze. Once you've selected the area, hit next step, and then it asks you to confirm the characters that are in the image. This is super handy as sometimes when you upload something that has been modified, it can mistake certain letters for each other. So once you've corrected any letters that need to, continue to the next step. This is where you'll be shown all the possible matches that are available on Adobe Fonts. As I mentioned before, there's a really handy thing with this, and it's if you're an Adobe user, and it's this toggle switch right here. If you just slide that bad boy over, you'll get the font sync right into your Creative Cloud library, so you can access it directly on your system. In the same way as you can before, you can scroll through visually similar fonts to see if there's something else that you like a little bit more. On here, you also have the ability of viewing the full font family so you can check out different weights and styles of each, all ready to be used in your projects. Now that we've taken a look at the desktop versions, let's take a look at the mobile apps. Starting with the What The Font mobile app. The app follows a similar process to the desktop version, but the benefit of the app is it allows you to directly snap pictures of the font you want to identify right in the app. You can still upload images using the button on the bottom left, allowing you to access the images in your camera roll. So you can snap a picture while you're out and about and then find the fonts at a more convenient time. So let's try and take a snap of this here and try and identify the fonts that are on there. Once you've taken a photo, a good old friend's dash boxes highlight the words on the image that you can identify from. If you need be, you can rotate the image or alter the selection boxes using the options at the bottom of the screen. 
Once you're happy with the highlighted word you want to identify the font from, hit the blue button. After this, you'll be presented with a list of all the possible matches where you can browse and select the fonts. When you highlight the fonts, you can even alter the preview text. Next, let's move on to Adobe Capture. Identifying fonts in Adobe Capture is only one of the amazing features of this app. If you'd like me to do an in-depth video of Adobe Capture app, let me know in the comments below. The first thing you need to do after you've opened the app up is slide over to the type section. Again, you can either upload an image from your camera roll or snap a quick picture of what you want directly in the app. Once you've highlighted the word that you want to identify the font from, hit the check mark at the bottom. It's at this point you'll be presented with a list of all of the possible matches that are available in Adobe Fonts. An awesome thing that you can do here is if you tap the edit button on the font, you can actually play about with the font styles, leading and tracking, and even the character styles all inside the app. Once you're happy with what you have, you can hit the save button at the top of the screen and this then takes you through so you can rename the style and also allows you to choose where you want it to be saved in your CC libraries. When you save this, it saves the character styles as well as activates the font in your Adobe fonts ready to use when you get back to your computer. So there we go, there are a few ways to help you identify fonts from images that you like the look of, aligning them to using your own design work. Thanks for watching designers, if you like this video smash that subscribe button, give it a like and also don't forget to ring that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. Share this video with your friends on social, it really helps me reach more people, educate them on building better brands and showing them what actually goes into designing them. And shop the merch to support the channel and show you part of the DFD crew. I'll catch you next week designers.